So talk about uh, what it's like to to have Cincinnati come to Columbus here, your hometown. You know, people think Cincinnati is that you know area just in Cincinnati, but really, it's probably cool. A lot of you probably know a lot of people that went to Cincinnati from Columbus. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's really good to uh, see Cincinnati have Cincinnati here, UC here in Columbus, um, bringing out. It's Bearcat fans because believe it or not we do have Bearcat fans here in, in Columbus where you know you're surrounded by a lot of you know Buckeye fans but uh, to be able to you know come in at a, at a place and just hang out with you know with the fans bring uh, an alumni back and, and you know just get the word out and, and, and you know spread out get the word out for people to come and, and uh, support and continue to come to the games buy tickets and whatnot I mean it's a good thing. Talk about you. You got to talk to Scott Satterfield today, John Cunningham. What it's like uh, meeting them? It was good to meet. It was good meeting the coach uh, today. I had my first time meeting him, and uh, he's real, real good, laid back guy. Um, he speaks with good, good morals. Um, I can tell he's, he has a good message for the team, and he has a good uh, vision for you know where he wants to take the team and, and continue to win and being here. So. What has it been like as an alum to see Cincinnati's success in football over the last few years? You know, something you helped build and the college football playoff and the success that, that UC football's had. Man, being, a, being an alum to Cincinnati uh, and, and seeing the success uh, continue year after year after year is, is, is truly something special. It's truly uh, something I can, I can, you know, speaking for a lot of us that, that came in around the years that I did, it's not something that we signed up for. You know, what we, what we did, uh, we, I don't think we all envisioned it, that it would turn out to be as special as it, as it was um, and for it to be such a, uh, you know, a stepping block uh, for the university um, and, and to continue to see the team get better and better each year and we're breaking barriers and, and breaking record, you know, setting records for ourselves. Um, and it's, it's truly uh, humbling, it truly is uh, you know, something to be you know thankful for, and to continue to you know support, and, and each each year, just, you know, trying to break the break the next record. You know, what's your what's your favorite moment from your time at UC? My favorite my favorite moment from my time at UC would be uh, just winning championships. I mean, uh, you know, the times where it's just it's us, it's the team. We're isolated. Uh, we, we, my, my years in school, we won a lot, and so uh, there was a lot of outside noise and media, and you know, just you know, the attention that came with winning. And uh, so for me, it was them times. There was just it was the team, whether it be camp, camp higher ground, um, or them times where you know we we were we were in Miami for the Orange Bowl, or or. Uh, uh, <clears throat> New Orleans for the Sugar Bowl, but we're we're together as a team. We're still working. We're still, you know, you know, practicing and grinding. Like we didn't nothing nothing phased us. No no sort of um, whatever the stage was, whatever the loud uh, distractions was. Nothing phased us. We we came in with a mission, and you know, nine times out of ten, we completed that mission. And I think that's what I miss most is just that band of brothers, um, you know, having each other's back through thick and thin and, and pulling out more victories than losses. So. Um, you mentioned the Band of Brothers. Obviously, you friends with Travis Kelsey. How cool is it to, to see him you know, playing his brother, both Bearcats in the Super Bowl? And then also, how cool is it to see Walt Stewart back as a coach? Oh, man, seeing seeing Trav and, and, and Big Kels, that was their names. You got Trav, you got Big Kels. Um, seeing them play in the Super Bowl, man, was, was again, it was a blessing, man. I. I I literally, I couldn't choose. I, I didn't choose. I, I watched the game for just as a fan of the game and, you know, an appreciation. That was a super, that, them both making it to the Super Bowl was a Super Bowl for me. I'm sure it was a Super Bowl for their family um, to see, you know, Papa Kells and Mama Kells and everybody excited, man, and, and to see them two guys compete like they do. And, of course, little brother, you know, little brother got, got the best of the big brother, but it was a blessing to see. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for them. I'm happy for them. Um, I love both of them, um, and you know they. We all know what it is with that man, and uh, and, and Walt, <coughs> Walt to see Walt, <coughs> excuse me, but to see Walt on the sideline, the same sidelines that we used to be on. And um, I mean, we would Walt was it was a group of us that in the middle of the night, you know, late at night, we would come and sit out on the on the field, 
and you know just talk and just visualize and talk about what we wanted to do in the future and and what dreams we had and you know for Walt to you know play four or five years in, in on that field and to come back and to be coaching on that field man it's that's that's a blessing that's I'm, that's good to see it's, I'm happy for him I'm happy for his family um, and and it's it's, it's just it's so surreal sometimes to see a full circle moments like that um, because you, you you think about when you were that young and you, and you think, man, it wasn't that long ago. And, and even though, you know, the days seem long, but the years go quick, you know what I mean? And so to see, you know, the, the success of everybody and all my brothers, man, I'm just, I'm just so happy for them and, uh, you know, continue to support. What, uh, what's life like for Isaiah and Pete now? What, uh, what are you up to? Uh, life for me, I got uh, I got my two kids. I got a six year old and a two year old. So uh, really taking care of them. Um, still adjusting to you know being an amputee. I've been an amputee for six years, uh, and you know uh, my retirement is, is is one. But two, I have a, a, a investment group, an investment real estate investment group where we uh, you know help people grow their resources and. And their portfolio, so uh, that's what Isaiah Pete is doing um, these days. And coaching football, I coach little league football as well. We uh, won a national championship my six year uh, Justice League Patriots won a national championship last year. Shout out to them, and we're looking to uh, repeat this year. Was that was your son on that team? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> my son. My last last question: How do you see prepare for life after football? Oh, you see prepare me life after ball. Um, just. Uh, being an underdog, um, being the underdog that we were, and 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 the but the the fans and the the love and the morals that was taught, um, and just you know the everyday life in Cincinnati, uh, you know prepares it prepares you for you know life after ball for the times where. Um, <clears throat> How do I call it? You're in adverse, situ adverse situations. Um, you know, maybe you know you don't have the the best the best de deck of cards dealt to you. Um, and Cincinnati, uh, for me, experience in Cincinnati, it just it kept a small chip, you know, on my shoulder on on everybody who I was uh, being able to teams I was being a part of and, and the teammates I was able to be a part of, we all kind of had a group callous chip on our shoulder, you know what I mean? To just have a confidence um, and to take on whatever we do in life and uh, to keep that brotherhood and, um, you know, to not be too prideful um, and, and to stay humble. Um, uh, all, all the all the, the morals in life that, that make a, a young a young <clears throat> man successful uh, definitely was, was learned. Um, in my years in Cincinnati. Awesome. Thanks, man. That's, That's awesome. awesome.